Hey gang, Marion here. Welcome back. So I've got kind of a funny story to tell all of you. So I got this great bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon from the Napa Valley. It's from Red Mare 2015. And I bought this at Total Wine right around New Year's. So this wine was so good that I had a couple glasses, um, was hanging out with my husband, and then I drank the whole thing <laughs> before I could do the video. But luckily with the first two glasses, I wrote some notes down. Um, so I do have some notes to tell you about it, but <laughs> yeah, it's gone. It was a fantastic bottle of wine. So I told you guys I bought this at Total Wine. Something really cool that happened after I bought it, I got an email um, you know, from Total Wine and from Red Mare Wines saying thank you. It's like, I've never seen this before. So when your account is tied through like a wine shop, Red Mare will actually have Total Wine send you this message on their behalf. And it's a message from their winemaker on a YouTube video basically saying thank you so much for supporting us. It's been really hard with COVID, which has been really hard for everybody, but, you know, trying to find workers and get people to pick grapes and, um, you know, just there's labor shortages everywhere and there's problems everywhere. So the people at Red Mare were just so great. And the message from their winemaker um, was just fantastic. Fantastic. Her name is Ann Botter. So today, now that we're talking about Anne, we're going to talk about freaking girl power. So Anne um, is originally from Washington State, and she's the winemaker and the owner, along with her husband, but we're not going to talk about him. We're going to talk about Anne. Um, so she graduated from UC Davis with a knowledge and viticulture degree. Uh, she's apprenticed at Robert Mondavi, St. Supri, Paradigm Winery. Now, um, the red mare on here was actually a gift to her from the Paradigm Winery when she was an assistant winemaker over there, which is really cool. Um, if you go to their website, it's Red Wine Mare, or Red, red Mare Wines, sorry, dot com. Um, you can see this beautiful chestnut horse of hers that's just absolutely gorgeous. So I highly recommend that you go try it out. Um, on the website, in Anne's kind of bio, they wrote, Anne reminds us not to pursue fads or oak masking, but to celebrate the site and vintage, which I think just spoke volumes after I actually opened this wine and tried it because it was the perfect balance for a wine. Now let's continue to talk about our girl power. Anne's assistant winemaker, her name is Jennifer Rue. Now Jennifer graduated from UC San Diego. She has extensive experience as head winemaker, um, you know, assistant winemaker, and she's had a very, very long career in wine as well. She's worked at Minor Family Winery, Mofe Vineyards, Oakville Ranch. So both of these women are powerhouses in the wine world, which I think is just amazing. And when you can find wine that's made by women, especially as a woman, I just think it's so cool because once again, the winemaking world is still dominated by male winemakers, but we are coming into this new future of women getting in there, getting dirty, making decisions, which I just think is awesome. So let's talk a little bit about this wine. This is 100% Cab Sauv, and these grapes are grown in different areas of Napa Valley, Sonoma, um, kind of that entire area, and she blends them together. This wine is just beautiful, 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 beautiful. I really wish I had my glass here to show you because um, it's just an absolutely gorgeous, ruby, dark, red, purple color. Um, the bouquet, caramel, savory, fresh herbs, cocoa, raspberry, and cherry notes. Now there's so many savory, fresh herbs. I wonder what some of these other vineyards are actually planting you know, next to their vines. It's very, very good. Now the notes on this, the tasting notes on this, black pepper, red licor licorice, quick firework 
of cinnamon right on the tongue. Savory, fresh herbal tones once again. The herbs on this are just something like I've never had before. Uh, so like I said, I'd be interested to know where she's getting these grapes from, the different areas, and if they're planting herbs close by. You also get a strip of leather right down the front of the tongue. And it's just gonna hit right here and right here. It's just whew, so good. So you also get this quick hit of gushy acidity from right under the palate there. And it's followed by these velvety tannins that coat the palate. Now also on their website, they say that Red Mare's wine are known for their silky tannins, their lively acidity, and their balance. This was about a $70 bottle of wine. So you're really paying for art in a bottle here. I highly recommend though, if you're close to a total wine, see if they have this. If they don't, see if you can get it delivered or if you can find it in another place. Highly recommend this. It's a 2015 Cab Sauv from Napa Valley. It's 14.9% alcohol. So by the time that I finished the bottle, I was hunky dory doodly. Um, but this is a great wine, and this is a great example of a boutique winery wine. Now, boutique winery is a small run, limited production, handcrafted wine. What that means also is that they make very limited cases. So of this wine here, there's only 1,300, 1350 cases produced. So multiply that by 12, there's only so many bottles out there. And I'm sure a lot of people have put this in their library wine. And I hope that Anne has put this in her library wine for the Red Mare uh, wine estate because it's just fantastic. Um, 10 out of 10 would definitely do it again. So until next time, gang, Happy New Year. It's great to see all of you. Thanks for joining me. Ciao.